students let us continue with the same chapter sachin leaves india in tears let us now recall to mind what we have heard in our yesterday's class we heard that sachin tendulkar was born on 24th april 1973 in mumbai india Sachin Tendulkar is considered to be the greatest batsman of modern cricket. He received his first cricket bat when he was 11 and made his debut in international cricket when he was 16. He is the only cricketer to have scored 100 centuries in international cricket. He holds the world records for scoring the highest number of centuries and runs in both test cricket test cricket and one day cricket in a match against south africa in 2010 sachin made the first double century in international one day cricket he has also scored six centuries in world cups the most for any batsman in the world Sachin has also received the Padma Shri, Padma Vibhushan and Bharat Ratna awards. Let us now read together this article about Sachin's receiving the Bharat Ratna award. Sachin the first and youngest ever sportsman to get the Bharat Ratna Sachin Tendulkar on Saturday became the first sportsman to be conferred the Bharat Ratna At 40 he is by far the youngest person to get India's highest civilian honor overtaking Rajiv Gandhi who was given the award posthumously at 46 CNR Rao 79 a world renowned authority on solid state and materials chemistry and chairman of the PM's science advisory council has also been chosen for the award which has been conferred on only 43 persons since it was instituted in 1954 It was the last given 4 years ago to Hindustani music doyan Bhimsen Joshi. Speculation has it that Rahul Gandhi who came to Bangkade to watch Sachin's last innings on Friday was so moved by the upsurge of emotion that he made a strong pitch for an immediate announcement. Sachin had carried along a list to ensure he didn't forget anyone but he referred to it only occasionally mostly he spoke extemper and straight from the heart he began in a choked voice pleading with the delirious crowd that had stayed on his feet through the presentation ceremony to settle down and let him speak As the audience quieted somewhat he composed himself and said my life between 22 yards for 24 years it's hard to believe that this wonderful journey has come to an end he thanked his father the most important person in my life and i have missed him a lot since 1999 when he passed away He gave me freedom at the age of 11 and told me chase your dreams but do not take shortcuts the path might be difficult but don't give up he told me to be a nice human being which i will try my best to always do every time i have done something special and showed my bet it was for my father So Sachin Tendulkar was conferred 
the Bharat Ratna, India's highest civilian award, by the President uh, Pranav Mukherjee on Tuesday. Tendulkar, 40, is the first spo uh, sports person as well as the youngest person to receive the award. Speaking during the ceremony at, a, at the Rashtrapati Bhavan, Tendulkar said that though he had retired from the game, he would continue bet for India in all spheres of life. He also said, it is the biggest honor for me and I am extremely delighted on receiving the Bharat Ratna. I am extremely proud to be born in this beautiful nation and I would like to express my gratitude to all the love, affection and support I have received for a number of years. He continued, my cricket has stopped but I will continue to bat for India and try my best to give people of India a reason to smile. I would like to reiterate what I said a couple of months ago about this recognition and dedicate this to my mother and along with her all the mothers in India who sacrificed their wishes, aspirations for their children so that their dreams come true. Towards the end of this article, you will hear Sachin thanking his father for inspiring him and giving him the freedom that he wanted. He said that he had learnt many things from his father who specially taught him to be a nice human being. He also added that whenever he held his bed, it was for his father. Let's move to the next page. The boyish streak in him surfaced as he spoke of his delight that his coach, Ramakant Akarkar, had finally come to watch him play in a stadium. In the last 29 years, Sir has never ever said, well played, to me because he thought I would get complacent and stop working hard. Maybe he can push his luck now and say, well done on my career because there are no more matches, sir, in my life. This para says that his coach Ramkant in his last 29 years has never appreciated him because he thought Sachin would become satisfied in what he does and he would not try hard. Now, after his retirement, he tells his coach that he can now tell him well done because he won't be playing anymore. He repeated the message that he had given to the Indian team when skipper MS Dhoni presented him with the special cap for his 200th test. All of us are so, so fortunate and proud to be a part of the Indian cricket team. I know you will continue to serve the nation in the right spirit and right values. At a time when a probe is underway into charges of fixing, the simple statement spoke volume. As he neared the end of his 20 minute speech, he said, I know it is getting a bit too long. The crowd roared back, no, they could quite happily have heard him go on for hours, but Sachin wrapped it up briskly. I want to thank all the people here who have flown in from various parts of the world and have supported me endlessly. Time has flown by rather quickly, but the memories you have left with me will always be with me forever and ever, especially Sachin, Sachin, which will reverberate in my t in my ears till I stop breathing. Sachin again repeated the same message that he had given to the Indian team when Mr. Dhoni presented him a cap. When he was about to finish his farewell speech of 20 minutes, he said that his speech was getting too long. But the crowd shouted and said, No. They were eager to hear him for hours. But Sachin concluded it briskly. 
he thanked everyone and said that he would remember them calling sachin sachin and it would always reverberate in his ears till he stops breathing let's move to the next para the crowd promptly launched full throated performance of sachin sachin even as tendulkar's voice broke on goodbye there was a brief conference on the field possibly about whether or not he should do a lap of honor but for the crowd there was no question about it they weren't going to till he went around the stadium once and so tendulkar took a tricolor in his hands and began his round how fit through he was hoisted on the shoulders of captain ms dhoni and vice captain virat kohli kohli was barely a year old when he made his debut dhoni on whom the mantle of the team's senior statesman now falls made his test debut in 2005 by which time sachin had been playing for almost 16 years as the procession slowly wound its way around the field the crowd roared hoarsely but full throatedly clapped thumped chairs and boards stomped feet and smiled through flowing color, flowing tears after the farewell speech sachin was carried on mr dhoni's shoulder holding a tricolor flag and he wished everyone goodbye the crowd roared clapped thumped chairs and boards stomped feet and smiled through flowing tears we have the word meanings here complacent means satisfied to push your luck means to take a risk probe means to investigate reverberates means here again and again a lap of honor means a round that an athlete takes around the stadium because of their achievement mental is taking up an important duty